President Harry S. Truman once said, men make history and not the other way around. In periods where there is no leadership, society stands still. Progress occurs when courageous, skillful leaders seize the opportunity to change things for the better. Black history is the celebration of the collective efforts of those who have stood for civil and human rights of those who were denied access to the self-evident truths of life liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. While Black History Month has become a part of American culture, it is also celebrated around the world. Black History Month encompasses the fight for freedom, justice, and equality during the institution of enslavement, apartheid in South Africa, imperialism, reconstruction, Jim Crow, the civil rights movement, and even today. Join us on a journey into the lives of some tremendous people from the past and present from around the world and their contributions to the global community. These people have embodied the notion of what it means to be a global citizen. They have demonstrated strength, perseverance, integrity, resilience, imagination, and talent. Gaspar Yenga was a member of the Royal Family of Gabon, located in Central Africa. Gaspar Yenga was kidnapped from his country and sold into slavery. Shortly after being taken to Mexico, he escaped. Gaspar established the first black settlement for people who escaped slavery in Veracruz, Mexico. The settlement was officially recognized by the government in 1630 and remains today in the region of Veracruz, Mexico. Through his strength, Yenga was able to create a space of refuge for people who escaped slavery. Gaspar Yenga was named a national hero of Mexico. John Wesley Carlos and Tommy Smith won a bronze and gold medal in the Mexico City 1968 Olympics. John Carlos and his teammate Tommy Smith, who won the gold medal, stood on the Olympic podium shoeless each raising one hand covered with a black glove squeezed into a tight fist above their heads. The world watched their silent protest against the treatment of African Americans in the United States of America. The protest only lasted 90 seconds, but the impact has been lasting. When interviewed about the protest 50 years later, John Carlos stated, I wanted to do something that would be so powerful that it would reach the ends of the earth and yet still be nonviolent. While John Carlos's and Tommy Smith's protest was intended to have many more participants, they persevered and did not let their fear of being punished stop the need to alert the world of the injustices of the time. In 2001, William Kamkwamba was 14 years old when he invented an electricity producing windmill to help his community. William lived in Malawi, which is a country located in Africa. His country experienced a famine that forced William to leave school. With the help of his friends, William used gum trees, bicycle parts, and scraps from the local junkyard to make his invention. William eventually traveled to America to attend Dartmouth College. In 2019, William's story was turned into a movie called The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. Today, William works with the Moving Windmills Project. No one knew the great impact that William would have on the world. However, he used his imagination to imagine what seemed to be impossible. Nelson Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it is done. William imagined his community with electricity and made it happen. W.E.B. Du Bois was the first African American to earn a PhD from Harvard University. He believed that African Americans had a responsibility to look beyond the marginalized views of racism in America. He wanted African Americans to pursue educational and economic excellence. He said, it is peculiar to always be looking at oneself through the eyes of others, to measure one's soul by the tape of a world that looks on in amused contempt and pity. The work of W.E.B. Du Bois helped shape the civil rights movement. As a scholar, he understood that he had a great responsibility to help shape reforms in the United States that address civil rights for all people. Frederick Douglass was an African-American social reformer, abolitionist, orator, writer, and statesman. After escaping from slavery in Maryland, 
he became a national leader of the abolitionist movement in Massachusetts and New York. He viewed the institution of slavery as inherently unjust and dedicated his life to see it abolished. He said, I would unite with anybody to do right and with nobody to do wrong. To have integrity means to be upstanding, honest, and moral. Frederick Douglass exhibited these qualities as he fought for civil rights, women's rights, and the education of all Americans. Wilfredo Lam was an Afro-Chinese Cuban painter, printmaker, and sculptor. He was born in Cuba in 1902. Wilfredo Lam's father was Chinese and his mother was Afro-Cuban. As a young adult, Lam left Cuba to study art in Europe, where he became friends with Pablo Picasso. When Lam returned to Cuba, he noticed that the Afro-Cuban culture had become caricatures used to attract tourists. Lam began creating art that focused on African heritage, inspired by African poetry, music, and culture. Lamb's work has been displayed in art galleries in New York, Italy, Belgium, and France. Wilfredo Lamb used his talent to help preserve his culture for his community. Black history is the celebration of the resiliency of the unconquerable human soul that rises and pursues justice and equality in spite of roadblocks. This month, we celebrate the sacrifices of those who saw hope deferred, but who believe that one day hope for all would shine as bright as the dawn. Black history is an invitation for us to celebrate athletes like Serena Williams, who holds 39 titles in tennis, poets like Amanda Gorman, who delivered a poem for our current president and became the youngest poet laureate for the White House, Songwriters like Missy Elliott, who has written chart-topping songs for every year since 1993. And scholars like Beverly Daniel Tatum, who was the president of Spelman College. The history that is celebrated this month is tightly woven through both American history and world history. Happy Black History Month.